YouTube, my name is Wildboy569, and I welcome to my Q&A 2022 edition. Now, a couple of days ago, I made a video announcing that I'm doing a Q&A. I don't know what number this is. I know I've done a couple in the past, but today we are going to be doing a 2022 edition. So, I have a couple of, I have a bunch of questions that I plan on asking that you guys asked, and I'm going to try to make it all in one video. Now, if I did not answer answer your question that you did ask i'm sorry but i'm gonna try to answer as all of them as i can i think i'm told about maybe 15 16 17 questions uh hopefully i will answer them all hopefully you guys get my opinions and all that so without further ado let's jump right into it here we go are there any shows that you are binge watching right now as a matter of fact i am there's a couple of shows i am binge watching on hbl max right now sometimes on a couple on paramount plus uh, I've been watching a lot of arc old cartoons I grew up watching, especially like Ed and Eddie. I've been watching been watching the shit out of that lately. I've watched every episode like three times already. I've also been watching a couple episodes of Curse of Caroly Dog. Uh, I've been watching the uh, old Beavis and Butthead. I watched the Beavis and Butthead Dude Universe uh, twice now. I watched a couple of the older episodes. I watched a couple of the new episodes. I've also done uh, bought a bought a Totally Spies DVD. So on my latest video, I've been watching that a couple of a uh, couple episodes of that. Um, and then I think that's pretty much it. Like I said, every night when my parents go to bed, I usually watch my watch my, a couple of shows in the living room. I've also been watching Foster Son for Imaginary Friends as well. A lot of those shows I grew up watching the Cartoon Network. I wish they had like uh, Camp Laszlo on there. Um, yeah, Camp Laszlo. Um, a couple of other shows that I really watched, like Hi Hi Puff Family Yumi. I really want to watch that again. Uh, my Life as a Teenage Robot. I watched that a couple of times. There's a couple of shows that I've been watching. Those are just some of them I've been watching right now. What is your favorite movie of all time? Well, for the longest for the longest period of time, my favorite my all time favorite movie of all time was Fight Club. But I think that's changed over the past couple of years. I really, one of the movies that I've considered that I've really liked uh, these past couple of years is the first Sonic the Hedgehog. I think that's probably become one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, obviously, I like Star Wars a lot. Still, I like The Godfather, the original Star Wars series. I like The Godfather films. Uh, oh, classics like Wizard of Oz. I really don't have like an all time favorite movie anymore. Um, but I do, um, my, um, uh, one of my favorite foreign films of all time is the 2004 German film Downfall about the last 10 days of Hitler. And that's the movie based on those Hitler parodies you see on YouTube. If you watch that movie, uh, I think there's a, I don't know if you can watch it on YouTube, but I have the DVD as well. And I've watched it a couple of times. It is pretty, it's a really damn good movie. It has like a 90% on Rotten Tomatoes. It's got critical acclaim over years of his nominated for an Oscar. Roger Ebert gave the film a positive review. Uh, Bruno Gauss as Hitler is a fucking phenomenon in that. It, it, just, it just is a really good movie, and I definitely would recommend that if you like old history films about World War II or the Nazi Germany stuff. I definitely like doing like, watching a lot of that, but I really don't have the favorite mo all-time movie anymore. It changes throughout the years, but I think I always say I would say one of my favorite movies of all time at this moment is Sonic the Hedgehog, the 2020 film, and Sonic the Hedgehog 2. What happened between you and your high school friend, Tyler Schmidt? I haven't talked about this in a long time. Uh, I had a high school friend by the name of Tyler Schmidt. He had a YouTube channel. I used to make videos with him as well when we were in high school. Uh, things just drifted apart me and him. He's just not really a very good, very kind person. He was just very toxic most of our entire friendship. He would always say things that bring me down. He would always uh, make fun of me. He would never stand up for me. He would be, when I was being bullied, he would encourage others to fight me. Uh, his family is also very, very toxic and hateful. I went on a trip to Tennessee with for his grandparents' wedding, and his family did not like me. I did not like them. That trip was just a waste of my time. Uh, he blocked me on Facebook after I sent him that message in the video I made back in 2019. Uh, from what I heard, he got married, works at a factory job. His grandmother still works at the gas station, the other gas station in town. His mom works at the Dollar General that are in the town. He, she used to work at Walmart, but now she works at Dollar General. Now I won't go in there go in there at all but like i haven't spoken to him in a very long time like um when i wasn't talking to him ignoring him he would try to message me on facebook phone numbers and like saying hey let's make more videos let's make more videos i want to make more videos and that's all the things you want to do he had like, me had a couple of other videos as well uh with a couple of other people um and also last time i said he works at a factory job he got married and so it sucks to be his wife but like, i haven't spoken to him in a very long time since he has me blocked on social media do you love Sonic the Hedgehog? Absolutely. I'm a huge fan, a massive fan of Sonic the Hedgehog. I got the original, I got the first game, the second game, the third game on the Sega Genesis. I also have Sega, uh, Sega Sonic and Knuckles on the Sega Genesis. I also have Sonic Adventure on Dreamcast. I have the couple of DVDs of the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic's at AM, Sonic Underground. I have a DVD of Sonic 
uh, X coming on the way. I also have the two movies. I have, I'm just a huge, massive fan of Sonic the Hedgehog. I got a couple of games on the Game Boy, games on the couple of Switch. I have a massive, I've done a couple of videos showing off my Sonic the Hedgehog collection. I'm a huge, huge fan of the Sonic collection. Of the Sonic the Hedgehog. I actually did not get into Sonic the Hedgehog until I saw the movie back in 2020. That's when I started collecting stuff. I don't know for my 21st birthday, my parents got me a Sega Genesis and the first Sonic the Hedgehog on the Sega Genesis, and I ended up getting Sonic the Hedgehog 2, 3, uh, Sonic the Knuckles, and just expanded from there. I have a couple of DVDs as well. I have a couple of things I got for my birthday, like a helicopter thing for Tales of Helicopter the Tornado, and a thing that I have not opened yet. I think they're just for display and to show display as well. That I'm just a huge, huge fan of Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog. I absolutely love the entire fr love the franchise. Uh, some of the fans, I have not been any toxic fans. I'm not one of those toxic fans that like, oh, you love like Sonic the Hedgehog, then you're a loser and all that. No, I'm not one of those. I just like collecting stuff and just enjoying the stuff, the, the franchise and all that. So, do you like huskies? Yeah, they're really, they're really a cute animal, especially, I want to get a do uh, dog husky, I never had a husky before, I have, I know a couple of people that actually have one, I think they're a really, really beautiful dog, I would love to get one, I've never had one before, if I had my own place, and if my parents would really want to get another dog, I would suggest getting a husky, I don't know how much they are though, but if I had the op opportunity to get one, I would probably get one in a heartbeat, so yeah, I think they're a really beautiful animal. Do you like The Simpsons? I used to when I was younger, but I just kind of grew out of it. I think the show's been on way too long, and I think it just needs to go ahead and end it. Uh, I'm not a fan of the newer newer series like most people. I think it's just the same recycled stuff over and over again. Uh, like I said, I've watched the first few seasons on Disney Plus, so I just couldn't get into it anymore. Uh, I just, I just, I mean, I liked it when I was younger, but now as an adult, I just really don't. Not a huge fan of it to be honest. Do you like Family Guy? Yeah, this answer is going to be the, similar like to the Simpsons question. Yeah, I liked it when I was a kid. I watched it when I was younger in high school. But as an adult, I just think it needs to, to be honest, go ahead and end. Because I think it's just the same recycle stuff over and over again. I'm not a huge... I liked it when I was younger. Sometimes I'll go back to watch the uh, older episodes. But it's just something that I just, I'm not a huge fan of the writing and the character development anymore. Especially in the newer season. Because they make everybody a worthless piece of shit in, those fa in the family guy, to be honest. How come you play a lot of not safe for work games? To be completely honest, I really have no idea. I, there's just something about them that I really like enjoying other than the boobs and ass and all that. It's just really something that I've always liked to do, especially when I've, ever since I started playing um, the Honey Pop or Monster Girl Island or the, even the Rick and Morty game. It's just something that I've have fascination for that people actually put time into effort in making those kind of things and actually making a living off of it is absolutely astonishing and really really cool i know with the monster girl island the game's not done but um the p developer for that game has made a crap ton of money for like he had like eleven thousand people pledging him on patreon and he would only post once a month and a new build every couple of months now the patreon's gone all he has is Discord, and he hasn't made the game in 2020. And look, hopefully, I can get back. We can play that game. I can play that game later in the future. Uh, other than that, I just really like. I really think they're a lot of fun to play. Like Honey Pop, Honey Pop 2, Monster Girl Island, even the Rick and Morty Not Safe for game. I had a lot of fun doing. I don't know if I'm gonna do Hush Hush again uh, because it was lagging on my computer to where I had to restart it completely. But other than that, I just I really couldn't tell you. I mean, they're just a lot of fun to play. Obviously. Have you ever thought of playing horror games? I've played a couple of horror games on the channel before. I know I've done One Night of Flumpty 2. I've uh, kind of played Doki Doki Literature Club because that's considered a horror game, but I never got to the scary part of the game. Um, I have thought about it. I tried to play One Night of Flumpty 3, but I chickened out. I've, I'm just, When it comes to the horror games, I'm a fucking pussy pants. I'm, I'm a pussy, but when it comes to horror movies, I'm all for it. But when it comes to games, there's just something about it that I, I, I'm scared to play, to be honest. I've tried playing Slender before. I've tried playing um, Five Nights at Freddy's. I uh, try to play another game called Brighter Day. It's just I'm just a really p big pussy to come to horror games. I've thought about it. I've tried it before. I'm just not. A, I mean, I like them, but I'm just too. Uh, the answer is I'm a scaredy cat when it comes to that. To be completely honest with you, favorite concert you went to? My favorite concert I went to was probably without a doubt Steel Panther. That was just a fucking amazing show. I loved every second of it. It was probably like I said. I've been to many of concerts for the longest time. My favorite concert I went to with Nickelback. Right ever since I saw Steel Panther, that has been by far my favorite concert I went to. There was just something about it. Everybody was having a good time. It was just a lot, a lot of fun. Especially when they had girls come up on stage, show their titties. And there was a dumbass guy who wanted to jump on the stage when they said only girls can end up on stage. Of course, you got to have that one fucking dumbass who jumps on stage, flashing the crowd like he's a girl. So he got kicked off stage and the guards had to get up. So, but like I said, even the opening act in a given sim was freaking phenomenal. That was, they were a really good opening act. I met them after the show during the, um, merch booth. I took a photo with them, but I ended up deleting it. So, 
Um, but like I said, probably like, that's probably easily just my favorite concert that I went to so far. Why did you start YouTube? The main reason I started YouTube was to comment on videos and to make a couple of friends here and there because I was living in a shithole Oklahoma town where nobody liked me, everybody hated me, I thought I was a problem child, I was a spoiled brat. I mentioned that in, in a couple of videos, but I joined YouTube back in 2011 when I was about 11, 12 years old and I joined it just to make a couple of friends, maybe comment on a couple of videos. I never thought about doing YouTube videos before until like somebody convinced me to make one back in 2012. I, those videos are long gone, you can't find them anywhere, but I started doing videos again back in 2014 and just been making them ever since. Uh, I've deleted a lot of the videos I made for and have because I was trying so hard to be people that I wasn't. For the longest period of time I used to be like John Solo and act like him and talk like him because he was a YouTuber I really liked at the time. And now I couldn't find who I was so I'm trying to now be who I am and not pretend to be somebody that I'm not. So the main reason I joined YouTube was because I wanted to make a couple of friends uh, going on a couple of videos and that was the main main reason but I never thought I would be able to do any videos and have over 5,000 subscribers it's absolutely amazing. Do you watch anime? If so, favorite anime? To be honest I'm not, I could try to get into anime a couple of times I just I say it, I play a lot of anime games, but I, when it comes to shows, I've never watched a complete series of something. I mean, I watch anime movies like Spirit of the Way and Ponyo, those are my two favorite anime movies. And I play anime games like Honey Pop, Doki Doki Literature Club, Hush Hush, Crush Crush, and a couple of other ones. And like, if I'm trying to think of a show that i watched that was anime, I mean, I watched Pokemon as a kid. Um, other than that, the one I watched recently was High School DXD because somebody said, oh, check out this one. This has naked bitches in it. So I'm like, okay, I'll check it out. And so I'm like, okay, this is cool. And then I found out what the cast has done by, uh, up, out of the show. Uh, one of the main actors from the first two seasons, he's now a child, he was a child pedophile. And then somebody of the other cast, uh, spread of lies, made false accusations. I said, no, I'm going to stay away from that. Funny enough, uh, north, up north in the north. Uh, northwest of the state, there was a uh, convention called the Northwest Comic Con, and they had the voice of Reese's Grandma Marie from High School DxD. And I was gonna go to that. That was the same convention they were gonna have voice of Mario there, but he couldn't attend. He's actually contending the big convention down here in the state. And then there was a couple of other people like Jim Cummings was there, um, James, Mar uh, not James Mars, and Jason Mazran who played Max in the Goofy movie and the Spirit of the Way. Uh, had a, had a um, um, Friday the Thirteenth Killer there, I think from the uh, New Blood. And so I wanted to go to it, but I had to work during tax-free waivers during tax-free weekend. I couldn't get off a tax-free weekend because if I would have had up, I would have not had the job. But, uh, so the main reason, one of the main shows I watched was probably High School DxD. I watched Spirit of the Way, Ponyo, uh, one, uh, not One Piece, um, Pokemon. So that's pretty much it to be completely honest. A song you'd like from Just Dance. My two favorite songs from Just Dance 4 is Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley and Good Feeling by Flo Rida. I played those ones a lot as a kid. I did The Beauty and the Beat by Justin Bieber and Nicki Minaj. I'm thinking, why the fuck did I do that? Uh, in Just Dance 1, I like to do Surfing Bird and A Little Less Conversation by The Trashman and Elvis. And then uh, Just Dance... I never played Just Dance 2 before. And then Just Dance 3, I like to do the Jump On It song. And then that's pretty much it. Uh, I want to get Just Dance 2014 so that I can do Gentleman by Psy. And other than that, those are probably my favorite ones I like to do. Other than that, I've done a couple of other ones I'm not really a fan of, but those are probably the ones I really like doing the most. What is your favorite DDLC mod? Probably the ones that I've played so far. Probably Exit Music Redux. I did like the Exit Music one, the original one. I wish I'd finished playing that game, but I did not want like the ending to that one. I have not seen the ending to Exit Music Redux yet. Um, Pro and the other one I really liked was the one I played for a, a little bit was Doki Doki Blue Skies. I liked how there was different stories with each character on there. And I also liked Monica After Street. I know I did one video on that, but I really liked the mod. I played it off camera many a times, and I just like it because you bring Monica back in the mod, and you just talk to her for as long as you can and try to make her happy. That's really, really wholesome, and I just wish... Uh, there was more mods like that. I know there's a couple of like Natsuki just uh, Natsuki after story mods. There's a Yuri mod like that. And there's even a Sayuri mod like that. But there's something about Monica after story that's just really amazing. Really, I really like, and just you know having actually having a Monica getting her happy and that's just really wholesome. So probably the ones that I've played so far like Exit Music Redux and uh, Blue Skies and Monica after story. Why do you hate Doctor Phil so much? 
I'm just gonna make it short and simple because I can go on to three hours. Why I hate Doctor Phil so much because he's a fucking joke. His so entire show is a joke. He brings people on with mental health issues and makes them look like a jackass. His stupid audience this makes fun of people with mental health issues and bow down to him like he's fucking god. He thinks man can't be abused. He because they if because I can go on, I can go on three hours while I can't stand Doctor Phil. But the main reason he's a joke. His stupid audience sucks. Uh, he makes people look like a jackass. He, and then he wants to say, man, can't be abused, and if a woman's being the shit out of you, they turn around and walk away, and the man was so embarrassed, he wanted to get off the stage, and Dr. Phil's like, well, if you get up, you might as well get arrested, because I'll call LAPD, and his stupid audience gave him a fucking standing ovation for that, because I can go on hours about why I fucking hate Dr. Phil, and I would never go on a show, and if I do, I would probably end up breaking his jaw and assaulting the audience. I can go on hours for that. I can go on hours about why I hate that fucking bald-headed scumbag. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Q&A 2020 and do edition. I had a fun great doing a, doing this. I absolutely had a fun. I don't know when I'm going to do another Q&A video, but if you do, feel free to leave comments down below as, again and just ask me questions again. I don't know if I'm going to do one again this year. I may probably do these once a year or every couple so often, but if you do like me asking you guys' questions, please let me know in the comments. I really wanted to answer you guys' questions and interact with the viewer, my viewers as well. So I apologize with that last question. Uh, I can, like I said, I can go on for hours why I hate Dr. Fell. And to be honest, I just, yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Sorry was a, if this was a too long video, but if you guys did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Be sure to check out my social media down below. Thank you guys a lot for watching. As always, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.